name's Brogan, Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. This takes the cake, Brogan. Vinny Artek running for city council. Time on a tradition. Yeah, right. Illegal immigration, cyber piracy, interspecies porn. This guy ticks me off. Yeah, relax. The media's here. They'll ask all the right questions. Mm. Yeah. Get it. I never get to have any fun. Vinny, honey, I don't think this is such a hot idea. Don't think, babe. Let's do it. Go make nice to the cops. But I don't like talking to cops. Oh. Don't want no discussion. That does it. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Officers? <laughs> okay, everyone. Vinny Artak! I gotta tell you, I'm overwhelmed. I mean, all of you, helping me the way you do. And then, just a few minutes ago, find out, in spite of the attacks on my character, that I'm getting in the polls! <laughs> this over the top or what? This is for the cameras. Mr. Artak, you've been accused of connections with organized crime. What's your response? Excuse me? I'm referring to reported connections to the Creon underworld. There is no Creon underworld. <laughs> you heard it here first. The politicians and the corrupt police better get the message. Corrupt? Us? I'm gonna win this election because I'm just a citizen like you. And I'm gonna be you in the assembly kicking lazy bureaucrats' butt! Yeah. but you just did the public a great service. Leave me alone. No, it's all right, it's all right. Come on, we don't need any more guys like Vinnie Artek in office, do we? I mean, we got enough crooked politicians as it is, right? I'm telling you, somebody should give you a medal. Put her there. Get away from me! How about me? Huh? Oh, oh, Stay down! Vinnie! Vinnie? Oh. Oh, oh, no. Help me get him out of here. That's dangerous. Uh, well, look out. Where are you taking it? To his private medical facility. Now, please, every second counts. I love this job. Come on, pal.
Mr. Vinny Artek's body is currently at his private medical facility in the care of his personal physician. Given the highly public nature of the shooting, I can confirm that this precinct has launched a full-scale investigation. I can also confirm that we have one Creon male in custody who we're questioning in connection with the incident. Look, we're gonna find out who you are sooner or later. Try it again. Hold steady. Ah, Lena's a newborn. No priors. He's never committed a crime in this system. Brogan, the captain would like to see you. ASAP. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Okay, uh, run a DNA. If he's got a birth record, he's got a name. Right. Let's see here. Personal physicians. Dr. Laszlo Kite. One patient. Vinny. Speaking of which, that was a stupid thing you did, Haldane. Thank you. You're crazy and irresponsible. Too much caffeine. And pretty damn brilliant. You're scaring me here, Castle. Come on, Janie. We got a 508 at Demeter Memorial. I'm right behind you. Hey, Haldane. Command performance. Brogan's already up there. Have fun. Thanks. I mean, come on, we don't need any more guys like Vinnie Artek in office, do we? I mean, we got enough crooked politicians as it is, right? That singular phrase, Officer Haldane, has made you and all of us at the 88 very unpopular cops. Communiques from most of the city council, the mayor's office, even a nice little query from the governor. Captain, it was off the top of my head. Look, I understand what you did and why you did it, but the politicians and the media are manipulating the situation and destroying this precinct's reputation in the process. <sighs> yeah, well, maybe if I could just explain myself. Perfect. We'll get the cameras in. And you can do it on live TV. <sighs> the Tarn egg sac has disappeared from the maternity incubators. Have the parents been informed? He's gone mad. They're in there. You wait here. Get out! We're here to help you, Mr. Dodbeck. You don't understand. They've taken our baby. If I can't have mine, then nobody gets theirs. I want our baby back. We'll get your exact back, Mr. Dodvik. Please put that down and let's talk. Not until they find our baby. Look, I'm reading you, Mr. Dodvik. I can see that you're a good man in a lot of pain. You can read me, too. You'll see that we're here to help you. That's all we want to do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on, Mr. Dodbeck. Let's go sit down and see if we can sort this out. We got a match with his DNA. He's a first generation Darnayan immigrant. Juna Kazar. Check out the next bit. So, Juna, you grew up with Vinny. Isn't that a gas? Even Vinny's friends hated him. Old pal says here, Vinny's godfather to your kids. So who paid you to kill him? No one. He talks, too. Why'd you do it then, Juna? Because Vinny's like a brother to me. I love him.
Whoever took it must have had a portable incubator. The egg sacs have to be kept in a controlled environment. Security? After the double snatching from County General last month, all the hospitals have been on maximum alert. Do you mind if we have a look? No, not at all. Uh, thank you, nurse. This one is in the early stages of gestation. And this little fella... Oh. ...is about ready to hatch. Precinct have released the name of Vinny Artax's assailant. Jana Kazar, a Danian Creon, was supposedly a childhood friend of Mr. Artax. What prompted this bizarre shooting is as yet undetermined. The conduct of the police officers present during the shooting is also under investigation. This is Anza Berry for Citywide News. We're an entrance line. You? <laughs> you were supposed to protect him. Now he's gone. We did everything we could. Yeah, you expect me to believe that after what he said? No, ma'am. Well, then why did you come here? We got a call from Dr. Kite saying that he wanted to meet us here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me room. Room. I mean it. Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Quite a recovery, Vinny. I got a genius doctor, Lieutenant. Plus, the best reason in the world to live. These here volunteers and the good citizens of Demeter City! Come on, Vinny. You're shot by an old friend right in the middle of your own campaign headquarters, then your doctor whisks you away before anybody has a chance to examine the wounds? Hey, I don't know why Jonah did what he did, but I noticed you weren't there to stop him. What my partner's saying, Vinny, is that we know this whole thing is I a... know what he's saying, and I know what happened. Yes, Vinny Artak for city council. He's blast proof. Blast proof, blast proof, blast proof, blast proof. Guys, can you turn it down, please? I'm trying to talk to your father. Matt. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, um, you know, crayons are hardy. I suppose it is possible if the shots missed all the vital organs. But uh, from what you describe, I can't see how. Me either. Thanks, son. Hey, Dad, you sure uh, Vinny Artex a bad guy? I mean, he hasn't been convicted of anything. Yeah, I'm sure, Matt. The news says he gives all the money to the children's hospitals. Uh, yes, he does, sweetie, but if he steals it, it's all wrong. But the kids still need it. Um, look, I I've got to go. I'll talk to you all later. Don't tell me. Bail was posted. By one of Vinny's lawyers. And he's not going to press charges either, right? Right again. Well, that's some friendship you have there, Juna. I really hope you guys patch things up. You don't know nothing about Vinny and me. I did this to you? Nah, I'm good as new. I just like the wheels. <laughs> Come here. It must have been hard for you to do that to me, old friend. You mean more to me than my own brother. I I'd do it again. I know you would.
What? The guy had the knife to kill me. What else should I do? I'm sorry if my actions at the attempted assassination of Vinnie Artek offended anyone. I was attempting to distract the assailant. Nothing more. Was your accusation about crooks in public office your opinion or a matter of policy at the 88th? No, that is not a matter of policy at the 88th. Oh, then it was your opinion. He didn't say that. Yeah, but he meant it. Well, if there's nothing else, the lieutenant and I are going to go catch some bad guys. Do you have anything more to say? No, no, no. no. Those two cops are messing with the wrong guy. Vinny, I was thinking. Oh. I do the thinking, okay? I don't want to be his punching bag no more. Then leave him. It's not that easy. Vinny's going to be at some big deal meeting tonight. If you could get down here and take me into... Protective custody? Yeah. Then maybe I can give you some stuff on Vinny that'll put him away for a long time. She phoned that in this afternoon. Sounds like a setup. So we'll be careful. At least he gets me close to my pal Vinny. It's too bad Vinny's gonna have to give all this up. Officer Haldane, look, I'm sorry. Vinny's home. I've changed my mind. You're <laughs> dead, you hear? Vinny, open up! It's the police! No. Freeze! Let her go, Vinny! You're breaking in my home and threaten me for no reason? Here's your reason! Drop it! <laughs> Drop the gun, Vinny! Murderers! Vinny! Oh, Vinny. What just happened? Insanity. Body is that of adult male Creon, Vinny Artek. Apparent cause of death. Wearing his lungs on the carpet. Internal affairs are gonna have a field day with you two over this one. He was trying to kill her. Those two. They're to blame. You don't look so bad now. Tell me exactly what happened. They just shot their way in and murdered him. It's them you should be talking to, not me. Okay, so let's suppose you were set up. The question is, by whom? Vinny? You're saying he planned his own murder and wanted to take you down with him? You fellas are going to need a better story than that if I'm going to save your butts this time. In any event, you're off the street. Wait a damn minute, Captain. You take us out of the action now, it's going to make us look that much more guilty. And if I don't follow policy, it'll compromise this precinct, Lieutenant. You know that. Starting tomorrow, you're on desk duty. Pending review by Internal Affairs. You can help officers Castle and Took track down their missing tarn egg. I've tried to set up an interview with the couple whose twin egg sacks were taken last month. They're in seclusion. Not a chance. Well, can you blame them? Oh, I've just about had it for one day. Oh, yeah. What I wouldn't give for a Magnus Steam right now. I'm with you. Ah, here's the data you requested on the two previous abductions from County General. Thanks. What's this one, Sloma? That one? Sorry. I thought you might pass it on to Lieutenant Brogan and Officer Haldane for me. I'm a bit overloaded this evening. Thank you. <sighs> Lieutenant's not gonna like that at all. What? Something else to make her day? <laughs> the ambulance with Vinny was hijacked and his body was stolen? Oh, that's perfect. Right. Who do you think the media is going to blame for that?
That farm idea is looking pretty good right now. Hold that thought and uh, call me in about 20 years. <laughs> Altorian years or Earth? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> How are the kids taking things? This is okay. Um, Matt, he's, you know, just trying to come to terms with what's happening. Door's open. Behavioral sciences? Life. Interrogate? Yeah, its eggs have been implanted. Soon we'll be hatching dwarfings, I hope. A different species? An endangered species. Fairly orbital, huh? Yeah, amazing. So, uh, you want to talk about this deep pile of manure I've got us all into? You didn't do anything wrong, Dad. I know. It looks like the guys at school don't think so. The guys at school don't know you like I do. It's not fair. Yeah, well, tell it to the other guy. He's got two of these. It's an odd feeling, playing God. Roll out the new one. Looks like I got killed again, huh? Dr. Kite. We went back nearly a decade. No egg sac was stolen from a hospital within Demeter's database. Then three in less than a month. Could be some kind of black market thing starting up. Well, I hope not. And the embryos can't survive unless the egg sac's in a controlled environment, right? Yes, whoever's behind it must have a portable incubator. At least for transporting. My, it's been the Artak Bogan? back from the dead. Mr. Artak, you're alive. Mr. Artak, Mr. Artak. I'll have a statement to make shortly. Tell me, Mr. Artak, how do you feel? Not bad, considering. What's the matter, boys? You look like you've seen a ghost. So who'd we blow away last night, Vinny? You can't kill the will of the people, Brogan. Or Creon cockroaches. You're going down, cop. <laughs> Open this door. You I want a piece of. Easy now. Officer Haldane, back off. I don't know who you are, but Vinnie Artak is dead. That's not an opinion, but based on the DNA sample taken at the scene, it's a medical and legal fact. Fact this, Captain. I saw a golden light at the end of a long tunnel. Darkness was all around me, but I fought and I struggled and, and well, here I am. I got a destiny to fulfill, a debt to pay to the people of Demeter City. You're no miracle resurrection. You never know. Yeah, well, if you're really a Vinny Artak, you won't mind taking a retinal scan. Hey, not a problem. Artak, the people's candidate, is offering a reward of one million credits for information leading to the safe return of a Tarn egg sac taken from Demeter Memorial Hospital.
One glass apiece, you understand what I'm saying? Mr. Artek? Huh? I'm a new volunteer. Nice to see you. They told me to come. They all said you'd be expecting me. Who? The people who live in my head. You're the inner dimensional messiah. We're here to protect you. Get her away from me! Vinny, we've chosen one! He's our master, Vinny! I'm starting to attract crazies like a supernova. You better make sure there's another Vinny waiting in the wings. First thing in the morning. Did I say morning? I'll get started right away, Vinny. Meet that Mr. Artek. Officer Nevis to prisoner information desk. Well, I think I detect a pattern here. If you're a hospital patient, you can only be cured when the paperwork equals your body weight. Here is the biography you wanted on the bad guy, Officer Haldane. What bad guy, Slomo? If I divulge that information, Officer Haldane has promised to rearrange my resistors. Get out of here. Just some bad guy's biography. Huh. Don't let Podley see you. I'll be down. Dr. Laszlo Kite, Vinny's personal physician, but a Tarn egg sac incubator. But Vinny's his only client, and he's a Creon. Hey. The review board's ready for you. <sighs> With slam bull bats. <laughs> well, I guess we better wear our protective gear then, huh? You behave yourselves. Yeah, look, um, take a look at this highlighted name here. He bought an incubator a couple of months ago. It might get the wheels turning. Let's go, pal. Uh, my heel. Lieutenant Brogan, Officer Halday, you are here to give an accounting of your actions in the armed assault on Vinnie Artak. At this time, the board instructs you to surrender your shields and weapons and to consider yourselves on suspension, pending the results of this inquiry. precinct more time than you give your own family and at the end of it all they take away your shield <laughs> life is too short i say we make a down payment on that farm it's not that easy is it no no i feel better for saying it oh, we've been through worse don't ask me when Hey, how's life in the jungle? The jungle. I got a B plus on that egg implantation report. Way to go. Very good. Later. So, mm -hmm. could a tarn egg sac be altered to produce a creon? You mean a surrogate womb? Well, theoretically, yes. I mean, they have some common physiology. Many. Hmm? You lost me. Could an egg sac be used to create a clone? Wait, wait a second. You know, I mean, that's been done once or twice outside the medical community, even, even forcing accelerated growth. But, But uh, it wouldn't be Benny Artac because it wouldn't have his mind. Exactly. I never knew how much fun it could be watching a guy's mailing address. This is what it's all about. The thrills and spills of life on the force. It never looks this dull on the TV shows. Tonight on Cop Wars, Dr. Laszlo Kite, criminal doctor at large. The only difference is Kite's for real, not his limo. And I bet that's him. Take the back. 
Possible 820 in progress. Zone 7, 111 Industry Row. Request backup. I think he's headed for the roof. It's okay. Brogan's right. I've got the Dodvik's baby. I'll take that. Ah! Jane! Thanks for the call, Took. Haldane? Right behind me. Is she okay? She's lucky. Just a mild concussion. Oh, bold. Then why the cortex cradle? That's for serious head injuries. Hold your fire, Haldane. It's routine. We're storing a backup copy of her thought patterns as a precaution. Give me a recording check. Too much caffeine. But I wouldn't give her a Magnus Steam right now. I'll take that. I've been a jerk. But I'll change. I didn't say that. Wishful thinking. <sighs> She's gonna be fine. Um, the cortex cradle. Can it transfer one mind to another? Not a chance. Two minds into one brain makes for suicides and heavy metal bands. Uh, not another mind. Uh, an empty one. A cloned one. Nothing. Maybe he bought one through another company. Let's cross-reference Kite's address. Yes. The Cortex Cradle was sold to that address for LK Enterprises. Laszlo Kite. Didn't Kite say Vinny had a personal medical facility? Yeah, but we're not exactly cops right now. Well, the hell with that if it saves the baby. We just have to make damn sure that's where it is. If only we could read Vinny's mind. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Come on. If it is discovered that you have used the precinct RSA for an unauthorized clandestine operation. Slomo, what are they gonna do? We're already on suspension. Uh-oh. I find this mode of transport very unsettling, Officer Haldane. No. Please, Vinny, not another one. It's someone's baby. I'm touched by your concern, but I've decided that two Vinnies alive at once is better than one. We'll be like a force of nature. Come on, Vinny. You need to update your mind store so you can get out of here. I'll implant the egg sac after that. Hopefully before the cops catch up with me. Relax. Once I'm elected, I'll own the cops. I'm in. Good. First, I am accessing Vinnie Artak's mainframe. Now, if there is a Cortex cradle in the penthouse, it will show up. Yes. It's there. Interesting. There is also a growth accelerator. Concentrate on the Cortex Cradle. Have access and am recording Mr. Artex Cortex Cradle. Uh-oh. Mr. Artex is updating the file at this moment. We are connected in parallel. I am seeing through his eyes, and he is seeing through mine. What the hell? The cops are outside. What? The cops are outside. Destroy the egg sack. Vinny! Sit. Oops. Lost the signal. 
Is the egg sac still there? SBA. Mr. Artek ordered Dr. Kite to commence DNA implantation just a few minutes ago. Slow-mo, we have to get in there. Accessing entry codes now. Thanks, <laughs> <Hey>, slow-mo. <gasps> Sorry, Vinny. I don't love nobody that much. Where is he, Bakua? I don't know. His campaign headquarters. Okay, rolling. Well, here it is, people of Demeter. Vinny's first interview since returning from... Well, let's ask Vinny himself. Vinny? I have a statement to make shortly. Hey. Mr. Artak, what are you doing here so early? Those two cops, Brogan, Haldane, they're still trying to kill me. OK, lock the door. Officer Brogan, I'd like to ask you a few questions. A camera direct feed to your station? Can be. They broke in and planted some poor, innocent little torn baby in my home. It was barbaric. This is an exclusive live report outside candidate Vinny Artak's campaign Open headquarters. Up, please! Hey. Vinny, you're under arrest. What should we do, Mr. Artak? Open it! You got badges, fellas? Uh, we don't need them. We're making a citizen's arrest. Yeah? So are we. Uh, now's as good a time as any. Replacing Cortex Cradle extracts now. Why don't we let Mr. Artek speak for himself? Uh, turn up the sound there, buddy. But I don't like talking to cops. Oh! Going no discussion. What? The guy had the knife to kill me. What's this? What else should I do? What the cops are outside, destroy the egg sack. You. Uh, ma'am, you don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I do. I quit. What's going on, Vinny? You're gonna pay for this. Trade us, Vinny. Give me into custody! Haldane, is it a crime if these people kill a clone of somebody who's already legally dead? No, you don't! I am Vinny Artek! I demand protection! Well, it'll make a good test case. Okay, Vinny. This time you're not coming back. Oh, okay, please. Okay. Whoa! Okay, rackets, extortion, murder. Take your pick. I still got the right to a trial. Terrific campaign slogan, Vinny. Let's go. Protecting this guy. Isn't that where we came in? People like Vinnie Artek get in the way of what pride stands for. So you're not giving up the fight? Absolutely not. If anything, it's made us more determined to have a true representative of the people on city council. Hey, this and Regina like Balek's okay. Yeah, she's honest, radical, smart, dedicated. Pretty. And I believe that these so you're gonna vote for her? Oh, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Dad, what do you want? If anything, it's Brogan, Demeter Memorial. You better get here fast. What? 
Am I too late? Nope. Looks like you're just in time. If it hadn't been for all of you at the 88th precinct, this day would never have come. Thank you. <laughs>